Hey, 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 peepazoids! My name is Bubs, and welcome back to Narcosis. Now, in the last episode, we finally made our way back to Compass 2, or to Compass 2, and naturally, Mr. Krabby Pants and all his little brothers and sisters are blocking the entrance. So I had to go away, I had to find a key card, and now I've got to find out where the key card goes. So I unfortunately died in the end of the last episode, so I had to restart, and now... Whee! Um, I've gone back, I've got the key card again. Whee! And I think I spotted down here a way to restore power. Now, I don't know if I need to go down that way. I don't think I do. So let's go away here. And thankfully there doesn't seem to be too many dangerous fishies. Uh, don't know if I can make that leap. Uh, yoop. Still at 90% oxygen, so I'm not gonna waste a fuel tank. Whee! It looks like I think that's a keyboard over there. Uh, go away, octopus! Ah! Oh, it's inking up my face! Thank God I'm underwater. <laughs> right. No oxygen tanks, but. Can I use keycard? Are you kidding me? That's not where the keycard goes? Oh, hang on. Activate generator. Uh, activate generator. Okay, so these are all the generators, so... I'm gonna be pow- what? Okay, that one shorted everything out. Um, reset circuit. Please? Did that work? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, generator. Generator. Generator! Generator! <sighs> okay. Right, so that overloads the circuit. Okay, let's do this a bit more analytically. Do I know how much power I actually need? Okay, thankfully... Oh, oxygen tank. Yes, please. And flares, which I don't need yet. Oh, okay, so those are the 235 voltage. I didn't actually look how much voltage I needed, which was a bit of an idiotic mistake. Um, so if I turn... So turn two, three of those um, was too much, so I've got... 220 turned on at the minute, so if I turn on this... Okay. Methinks that might be enough. Let's make our way back. Just to be on the safe side. Because I don't know what underwater atrocities are going to be down here. Right, so I've turned on the power. That's still flashing red. And there's a bloody octopus. Oh, he swam by. Okay, that's, that's good. Um, power is low. Oh, I've got to go back again. Crying out loud. Ah, get off me. Get off. I do not want to kiss you. Get off. Right, just fly away, you ugly little bugger. Right, I'm going to make my way back. Hang on. Okay, we're back. I'm going to try turning on just the little ones. Okay, so they're all good so far. I guess I have to warm it up. Uh... Bugger! Right. Go, lassie, go! Ah! Go, Mango, go! Please, please tell me that's enough. Oh, crap! Octopus! Get off! Get off! Get off me! Oh, I'm down to 12%! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to get oxygen. 
Oh crud, I'm gonna die, aren't I? No! You must let me leave! No! Oh damn it. Sorry guys. Alright, I'm dead. Just let me die then. Come on. I'm gonna die. Get it over with. Oh. No! No! Okay. Yes, I know O2 equals life. Right, back here again. Right, so sorry about this, guys. Bear with me. Okay, welcome back. So now, I'm trying a different route across these towers. Just to see if it leads me to where I want to go. Well, no, it leads me back up to the dead dude. And I still don't know where this extra bit of power for this lift is meant to come from. It's one thing, like, in games, I love a good puzzle. You know, I've played Portal half to death. So I like me some puzzles. What I don't like is when you die during said puzzle, like I have done on this one several times, and it means you have to restart completely over from scratch. Like, completely. And that's not, like, a naysay on this game as such. Ah! See, I've got this up to 675 voltage. Now I need more voltage to be able to easier up the power. All the same questions. Yes, I've heard you speak about this before. Questions. Shush, 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 shush. What they ask. Stuff. Show me what you got. Okay. I swear to you, I swear to you, in this episode we will get inside that damn base. Oh, come on. I know what you're going to say. I'm getting a bit too impatient. Go! Okay. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We are okay. It's a simple matter of math. Two of these generators. And three of these. Why could I not have figured that out when I first started doing this? Damn you, education! Okay, am I 800? I'm at 800. Right, back to the lift! If the lift isn't working now, then I don't know what else to do, because I've literally exhausted all my math skills. I've exhausted all my know-how. And I still can't get it to work, so... Time for the big reveal. How? Oh, you stupid ass. Oh, this is so frustrating. I've got two of the generators, I've got three of the bin. Yep, I'm going back. Ah. Oh. Sorry guys, this is like a video of watch Bubs as he miraculously remembers what he did wrong. And then I put this one on. Boom! 815! Oh, and all the pretty lights are on! Huzzah! Yatta! We did it! <laughs> okay. I am like down to... Oh, I'm on 93%. I forgot I just added oxygen. Oh, to feel the place come alive just fills me with hope hope that we can get to salvation. Oh, and I had a thought um, from the last video as well that the guy we're talking the person woman we're talking to in the vision, sorry I'm raising my voice the woman we're talking to in the vision, she's not um, a psychologist she's an, a, like a newspaper or a news reporter, like asking us about the critics and what we think of them so many things, obviously something like this so would make big news. When they do ask Speaking the of which... Details. I oblige. See which way they want to take it. I mean... What people don't get is that they don't want me to keep going. Not really. There's only so much blood and guts people can take before they lose their appetite. 
everyone has their limits. Yeah, they do. You don't think you want to know what you want to know until you don't want to know it. Oh, but we're finally here. Compass 2! Yeah, speech! Yay! Oh, slow dank corridor. Okay. Right, I'm up my oxygen. I think I've earned it. Right, guys, we can finally start making some progress. So sorry. Uh-oh. Elevated O2 intake. Am I going to start hallucinating again? What is all this? It's all frozen. It's all crystal-like. It's actually... Ah! Oh, God! Oh, no. I'm back with the weeping swimsuits. Oh. Hello. Can I get out? Who is that guy? Hello? Hello? Uh, can I let a flash? Um, guys? Hello, sir? Madam? Other than sir, madam? Oh! Whoa! What? What? Did I die? Whoa! Okay, I don't know if that was me dying. Okay, okay, let's try and take this a bit more carefully. Who is the Spectrum? Because, you know, part of me was thinking between episodes that thing's my Patronus, but... something wrong last time, I don't know. Can I get out of here, please? Ah. Uh, I need to get out of this corridor. This hallucination needs to end, because... I don't know what I did. Can I get out, please? I don't think I was meant to ice over. Can I get out? Please, sir? Madam? Otherworldly being? Can I get out? I have to be able to get out. This is really claustrophobic. I'm icing over. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a way out. Come on. Whoa! No, 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 no. Okay, run, run. Freaking run. No wonder I iced over. That guy grabbed me. Go, thrust, go. Oh, okay. They're actually coming after me now. Okay. Running, running, running. Woo! Okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> okay, we now literally have weeping wetsuits to contend with. Okay, we need to hack the hazard door. How am I doing on oxygen? I'm on 68%. Oh my god! Oh my god! That legitimately scared the bejeebus out of me. Okay, let's have a little hunt around this floor. You're very candid when describing some circumstances. Times when you felt crippled with fear, coming across the bodies of friends and colleagues. Yeah. It's clear you care, but there's an undercurrent of detachment in the way you present some of the more difficult moments. Was that your intention? No, I, I've heard that before. I just did my best to paint a clear picture. When it comes to empathy, there's no manual for that. I want to see what this guy's about. Sorry, I was just waiting for them to finish because I find those interactions really... Hey! Fix me. Oh, that's just grim. Okay. Oh, out of my way, clipboard. I don't like you. Um. You see what's in here? Might be useful. Um. 
Well, I need to hack the hazard door, so I'm assuming that's that door up there. I don't know. Let's go explore. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, who are you? Let's read him. So this is Anders. As much as someone could be down here, I mean, we're all in it together. Anders was in charge, always on the move, checking up on people in progress and writing it all down. I found him in the hallway overlooking the meadow. Did he drown? Maybe methane exposure? I don't... They say the devil's in the details, but who can say? Either way, everything around here just feels off. Hmm. Could it have been sabotage? Maybe. Surely it can't have been an accident. I mean, methane can be unstable, I guess. I think that's what the guy was getting at. Oh, restore my oxygen. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Get us some flares. Okay, camera set. February 2nd, 2021. Damn. In the not-so-distant future, we will be underwater. And there you will see, before your very eyes, the walking wetsuit demons. Oh, this is... Oh! Okay. Dead end? What? 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 What does that mean? Oh, this key. I have to ask again. Was what? it luck? Conditioning. Oh Conditioning no, I'm discipline. caught in a loop. That's how I got down there in the first place, and that's how I got out. It's about keeping tethered to the task. You don't let yourself forget about the reality around you. Mistakes are proof that you're trying. Screw you, game. Something chasing me? Oh no, no, no. Oh no, I'm fading again. No, 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 no. I have to be able to get out. I'm gonna try going backwards. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's a dead end. I'm not going in there again. Let it go. Let what go? Oh snap. My oxygen's going down. I need to move. Ah, no! No, 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 no! What? What is happening? Ah, oh, oxygen tanks, go! No! No, where are you going? Huh. What? What? No! No! Can I get out, please? Retrieve oxygen. No, I said retrieve it! Huh? Wait, am I still alive? Oh, this game is messing with me. Code. Store oxygen. What the hell? Oh! Oh! Okay, there's a giant arm. Any number is important. Find the other numbers. So. Okay. Oh, this game just keeps tripping out on me. Cypher. 
When things go wrong, don't go with them. So the game's giving me hints. I need to fight against the badness. Hey! Oh, that is just creepy. It's like a giant dead floating woman. Right, so if things go wrong, don't go with them. So if I retrace my steps... And it's a dead end. Okay, so I can't go back that way. Um... Okay, so six is one. Now I just need to find the others. Somehow. Um... What am I doing? Seek. I know to seek! I'm trying to look around. Giant ass woman, if you're gonna stick in my way, could you please at least help? Maybe? Something written on this locker door. Nope. I need to find the other numbers, but I don't know how. Okay, so I found six. They on these monitors. This game. Is that a. F that looks like a face hugger inside the water jar. Guys, that is not how you keep your water cool. That looks like. Is that little tribute to the portal? Oh, that's not creepy. Okay. This thing looks like it's got an indefinite refill, I think. So if I go back up on here. Oh, I can keep using it. Okay. That's good to know. So we've got six there. Um, oh wait, no, that's a zero. That's a zero spilt by the coffee cup. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got zero. Ah, okay, you sneaky little clover. I see your game. Right, so I just need to find other numbers. Hidden in the scenery. Let's put this one in. Okay, so far so good. Oh, five on her wrist. I got five on her wrist. Hang on. Well, that is a creepy way of letting me know. And the origami blood does not give me pause for thought. Okay. I need two more numbers. Despite my initial theory, it's not symbolic numbers. They need to be physical numbers as well in this crazy-ass universe. Um. Three! I got three. Does that mean these other monitors? Okay, so the monitors gave me three. Okay, okay. Let's pop these bad boys in. Right, go! Almost there. Almost there. I just need one more number. Are they on the heel of your shoe? Are your shoes having the number? No? Lady, your fetal position is really not helping me. Nice ass, though. We are in an impossibility in an impossible universe. I like that. That's nice encouraging talk whilst I go around the ring of death. Can I interact with the microwave? Can I cook me a burrito while I'm searching for my way out of this madness? Hang on, does the Rubik Cube have an answer? No? One. Where did one come from? Oh, one was on the locker? Are you kidding me? That tiny little number. Oh, you game. You and I are going to have words when I'm sane again. 
Go. And go. Right, if this... I swear to God, if this leads me into another trip fest. Oh, a server room. Okay, so this is where I hack the hazard. So, go. Ah, see, I was half expecting there to be another weeping wetsuit. That's what I'm calling them, by the way. Weeping wetsuits. Because that's what they remind me of, you weeping saw angels. terrible things. And even if you made it to the surface, you couldn't count on being rescued. I mean, I'd have lost my mind. Did you ever feel like you were losing it just a little? Oh, who have we got here? No. I'm just going to interrupt this a second. When they found me, I'd been floating on the surface for at least five hours. Oh, doesn't I interrupt it. That's cool. therapists and trauma experts for Eesh. months. Said I was hiding the hurt. But it's not true. I made mistakes down there, yes, but... Did I lose my mind? No. No way. Um, judging by what we've experienced so far, I think you kind of did. Ah, uh, Halima. Oh, this was the woman that was floating upside down in that trippy wheel. Halima was determined to make her family proud. The first female rig manager I've encountered. Good for you. Ooh. Maybe the best. And now here she is, knife in one hand, pills in the other. Jesus. Heartbreaking, but there's an undeniable dignity in accepting the inevitable, refusing to bargain. The youngest among us, and she didn't try to run, like a captain going down with the ship. Still, I can't imagine any parent taking any pride in this kind of resolve. Not when it ends like this. R.I.P. Halima. But, on a bright side, I've got good oxygen, good flares. And the origami is still giving me the ickies. But the hazard doors are unlocked, so... Um... I have no idea which way I came. So I'm gonna go this way. Uh, that looks like a lift. Can I use it? Nope. Server room, relaxation. Relaxation room? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'd love to relax. But I'm slowly going insane. Two miles under the ocean. It's, it's not healthy. Oh, God. Yeah, now I know where we are. Oh, blimey. I feel so sorry for everyone down here. I mean, to drown or ingest methane, it's... I just, if... And it makes me wonder, is this interview... Is it actually that we've escaped? You're munching down on him, okay. I'll squeeze past you. Or are we just hallucinating that we escaped? Ah! No, 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 no. Okay. Frickin' leg it. Frickin' leg it. Ah! No. No, that's not fair. That's not fair. First it was crabs, now this. Oh. Okay, game, you officially up your ante. You officially up your ante. But I'm not quitting. Maxo 2, okay. Alright, we know what's gonna happen, so let's brace ourselves. Right, ready? Right, open. Right, dive, boy, dive! Go down the hole, go down the hole! Right, no. Right, jet boost, away! They're walking about as fast as I am. Ah! Oh crap, I'm losing my sense of direction! Shit, shit, shit! Okay, we're back, we're back. Go! Oh, no, no, no! Oh. It's okay. Right, bear with me. Ooh. Okay, we're okay. 
think I'm slowly getting to a safe zone. Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay, I think I've got my exit. I hope I've got my exit. Shit, shit, shit. Double shit. Oh, this isn't fair. How am I supposed to get out of this? Oh! Wait, is he helping me? This entire experience is defined by Who the is that? that you came back alone. Your story started with 20 people, but ends with one. So when it comes to telling those stories, you're the only one who can. Yeah. There's a responsibility to get things right. For the record. Oh, Jesus. I, I honestly... No! I do not have time for you today. Feck off! Oh, game. What are you doing to me? But who is that spectre thing? Is it like my Patronus? Or something? Evacuation pod. Okay, so I need to call the lift down. Let's get out of here! Is he like a guardian? Or something? Because he just saved me, or is he like my subconscious saving me? That's what I'd like to know. Alright, what's our objective? Evacuation pod. Okay. Alright, you're not one of the haunted ones. Thankfully, but let's restore oxygen. God, guys! Oh, ha, ha. this game! I, I at the same time I love it, but I also hate it. I can. Oh, hello, hello, sir. Are you show. He's dispelling them. All the phantoms. Is he... He must be a good spectre, right? Or is he just a figment of my imagination that... This is awesome, by the way. I love this imagery. It's like he's guiding me forward. Or she. Or they. Okay. Oh, I've got unlimited thrust now? Looks like this is the final hurdle. Are you pointing the way? Okay, there's searchlights. Whoa! No! Oh, wait, if I touch the methane, I die. Okay. Okay. So basically, thrust stays on. Cool, I didn't think I'd get unlimited thrust. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, no, no, no. No, sorry. This is awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're giant. I thought those were just spotlights, but they're actually giant wetsuits. No. Okay, okay. Down. Right. Here, you know the problem. You stress. 
again from the start of the game. What is happening? Welcome back, my friend. Who is this? Oh god, it's just a hallucination. Whoa! Russ. Hey. Russ. You all right? Come on. Let's get back to the hell. That's the guy we were looking for at the start. What? I'm back here. What? Okay. Let's just get to the evac pod. Welcome back to Open Air. I'm Emily Kaler. If you're just joining us, my guest is Kip Mattis, soul oh, that's my name. the Ocean Nova disaster. His first book, Hell or High Water, is a harrowing account of his ordeal. Earlier, we talked about the life aquatic, Reminds me of, escaping um, the flooded habitat, and Sarah being Paulson, lost an American on the Story. inside a half-ton titanium diving suit. Kip, I know this might not be easy, but I'd like to talk about the end. Can you read that for us? Yeah. The list is getting shorter. The hatch opens with its usual reluctance, flooding the room with light. The pod is there. I'm going home. Tomorrow I'll be the sole survivor. But for now, I'm not alone. How did you feel when you figured it out? At that point, and that close, I was running on fear. So when I saw another suit in the room. It's almost too much to process. I couldn't believe that it was... Virgil made it. Just like me. How did you get? I thought everyone was. Only I'm locked inside the pod and he's locked out. What? Can you hear me? I can't stop the launch. There's no override. He's not coming back. Oh, God. I'm sorry. What? That's on me. No, no, no. So are you saying that if you did something differently, that Virgil would have lived? That's right. What? Until I saw him. Fear in his eyes. No. I thought I was the only one. No, you can't do this! Call. Kip! Kip! Kip, no! Dude, you what? didn't kill him. Really? Who did? Bad luck. Here we go. I'm responsible. Look, I'm up here talking with you. And he's still out there. Oh, Virgil. 
Oh, hang on. We're here. Oh, I, I can't move. This isn't me. I can't move. No. No, I can't move. We're just following him. Oh my god! How many twists can one guy take? Achievement unlocked. The Wanderer. Now that's his name. What well, its name. That it? What a game. What a game. Oh, that twist. Oh, that twist. It reminded me of, you know, hang on, hang on. I want to be able to hear myself speak. You know what, it just reminded me of the ending to the movie Life with Ryan Reynolds in it, about them trying to evac the two pods and then you think, oh, the pod with the alien got blown up, but when they open the pod as it lands on Earth, it's actually the pod with the alien. It's sort of one of those sort of clever use of perspective, but damn. Wow, a lot of people worked on this game. Now we're just, we're cursed to wander the ocean floor. Wow. Well done, developers. Well done, game. That game was a lot of fun. That was very... Uh, I'm sure you guys can feel it very slow-paced um, compared to the games I've usually played, especially horror games. It wasn't gory, it wasn't blood and lots of zombies or supernatural, except maybe this guy. It was just you against the elements, trying to escape. And the pacing did so much for the tension. It was so good. I mean, some of that last puzzle, it might probably me just being an idiot, but that was really well done. And it didn't hold your hand. It gave you a few instructions here and there, but it didn't hold your hand. And some of the imagery in some of those, like, illusional environments were really creepy, really cold, and really well done. But yeah, that's it. Just the sound of the footsteps. Kip, it's been more than a year oh, since all yet. this happened. You wrote a book and told your story. Are you ready to be done? Yeah, yeah. It's time to move on. Get myself working again. Kip Mattis, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thanks for having me, Emily. Wow. That's a beautiful narrative device as well. Database updated. Open air unlocked. What's, what's this? These Diver's knife, I'm eleven again. In my dreams, Grandfather shakes me from my sleep. Silently, I help him don the tools of his trade. So frail, a husk. The copper helmet alone should be too heavy to bear, but somehow, between my bedroom and the beach, the ragged suit restores the ragged man. At the water's edge, he puts a finger to his lips, then points to the knife at his wrist. An antique that's lost its luster. Its edge. For the strength and purpose I've never seen, but always known, he cuts the ties that bind us, then strides into the sea. So this is Virgil. This is the guy we were playing as the whole time. Grandfather's diving career ended before it was born. But even though I knew the stories by heart, before learning to read or write, I have just two memories of him and water. In the first, I'm old enough to walk, but just learning to ride. We stop to picnic in a scarlet field. A small pond catches my eye, and then I'm falling. I'm going to drown, I'm sure of it. Two seconds later, his hands on mine, pulling me up. The next day I start learning to swim. So is it his dad? 
His dad cuts the ties that bind us. I don't know if he was being metaphorical. Not open. No data. Kipling Malice was born in 1980 in Lompoc, California. So this... So Matt Kipling. Kip, this is the guy that escaped. He graduated from California Polytech State University in 2002 with Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in Computer and Mechanical Engineering before joining the Ocean Nova Initiative. He worked on numerous energy research and engineering projects. Mr. Mattis currently lives in burke sur mer on the coast of France. Hell or High Water, Surviving Ocean Nova is his first book. Lana Winters, that's who I was trying to think of. Lana Winters from American Horror Story. Right. That was epic. That was creepy. That scared the pants off of me. I've not been frightened by a game in a while. That was... Oof. That was creepy as hell, and that was awesome. Well done to everyone who was involved in this. And how, what did you guys think? Did you guys think this was creepy or enjoyed it? Um, what are your thoughts? I would really like to know. If you guys can let me know um, down in the comments what you think of this game. Did you enjoy it? Where are you going to play for it yourself? I'll leave a link in the description below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, swing on down and swing past that like button. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.